How's it going guys? Welcome back to the toy table. Steve again here, downstairs at the toy table. Uh, my co-host Ken is out and about today, so I am just solo. Um, making a few videos all in kind of one day here to uh, spread out over the holidays in case I can't keep up with uh, the video production and demand. Anyways, so one of my favorite things I did last year, and it is still this year, 2018, was I thrifted, thrift bag hunted a whole, at least 20 bags of cars, but I didn't really document them too well, of when, and uh, basically when I found them, and yeah, so by the end of the year, they were all kind of in a mishmash of different bags at different times that I bought, but uh, this this year, I am going to get a little smarter as I produce and find these bags. I don't know where they went. Oh, yeah. So, I got a whole bunch of Ziplocs for when I open these after I show them to you guys. So, I can keep better tabs on the racers. And, again, it was one of my favorite things I've done so far. Uh, the race is really a lot of fun because some uh, cars go fast and some cars don't. Some guys work. Work. Unexpected cars get really fast, and yada yada yada. Anyway, so I I hope uh, it, it still becomes a success, and I look forward to collecting thrift bag uh, thrift bags all throughout the year. And I guess also what I meant to say earlier was a big shout out to 89 Mattel, who uh, uh, you other diecast channels out there probably already know who he is. He likes watching die, die cast and he does his own thrift bag series himself. But uh, if you're not familiar with 89 Mattel Dot, be sure to go check out his stuff. He posts regularly all the time. Now that's two minutes of rambling. Let's see some cars. Okay, first up, one of the chase pieces in this bag was this really nice McDonald's NASCAR. Again, here north of the border, we don't see too much NASCAR hanging in the thrift stores, around the pegs, or at the flea market. So whenever I get to find one, I, I pick it up. And this one has the really nice uh, rubber tires to it, and uh, virtually all metal. Yeah, it's a metal shiny base. And the roll's not too bad for rubber tires. I'll roll it on the woods. Um, they always have a turn. Okay, so I think I don't know whether the guys at Valley Village really were listening to my prayers, but finally they made them cheaper and put more cars in them. So that's a good thing. Hopefully that trend continues. Okay, so we got a 2000 Chevrolet Express van from Miasto. Just a, a big box with Suburban. It doesn't roll too bad. So. The other thing too is, guys, you'll see these cars, as much as I want to race them all, all year this year, they are virtually going to go away until next December, and kind of be a time capsule, if you will. So we got a really, really light Miasso Lamborghini Mushi Lego. can't really read it, but it's a really nice car. Good shape, too. Rolls pretty straight off the track and still fits in the regular track. And the orange edges, it is called. Next up, we got a Ford Falcon a race car. Pretty neat. Still in really good shape. The paint, nice Ford symbol on the back. The wheels look pretty snazzy. And it's got a spoiler. Spoiler alert! Guitarded and broke. I'm sorry, buddy, but I've got to catch up in your racing series. I really, really like your setup, but, uh, you know, the holidays, they're just really, really busy, guys. So that one's really fast. This one could take the title out of this bag, anyways. Next up, we got a lot of cars in this bag. Okay, we got a Hot Wheels, Mattel, China, and it's got a big gun on it. There we go. Anti-aircraft gun, I guess. Um, kind of really looks like a fire truck. Maybe it's a fire truck. A water water gun on it. Yeah, it's a fire truck. It's got a ladder and stuff. It's not a big boomer gun. But it uh, looks a little too wide for the track. Yeah, it is. And really slows down. 
I haven't seen anything like this. Metal base. All plastic top. But it's in the bag. We got it. Alright, next up. You get a tomb up. Uh huh. That's a pretty neat fashion casting there. I don't mind that one. It's got the uh, I guess the faster than ever wheels in the back. There now maybe you guys can clarify this. It's obviously not from the package, but when the wheels are open like this and big, are those automatically deemed faster than ever wheels? If so, that's pretty sweet. Otherwise, uh, just leave a comment and let me know. Unfortunately, this one doesn't seem to be too fast, but you never know in a race of thrift cars. So let's tune up. I think that's my first tune up. We got a made in China beauty. What child wouldn't want this car? No, actually, I'm probably kidding you. They would love the cheetah. <laughs> but, um, uh, probably can't weigh much more than 10 grams. And I don't think, I think the only thing metal is the axles. And they feel pretty bendy. Yeah, it doesn't roll too bad, though. It's got a little suspension. Alright. It's in the collection now. Okay, I gotta finish this up. Oh, we got a wobbly wheel here. And it's a car's car. Not sure of the character. I don't think it's gonna. No. That wheel's been punched in. You win some, you lose some. You get into a decent car, I think, I hope. Ooh, this one looks like a scorpion. Get the actual name for it. It's not on there. Let's say 1985, but. This looks like a Scorpio. And unfortunately, it's been stepped on. Kind of the wheels caved in. Sometimes you're able to uh, bend the back, but in this case, they keep bending back. So yeah, unfortunately, not the best. But leads me to cars that I really go after, and it's uh, the Corvette Stingray there, or Roadster. Grand Sport, yeah, Corvette Grand Sport. Now, are these the faster than ever wheels? I certainly hope so. This was the first bag I picked up last night, guys. And, or, well, when I release it, but the day before I made the video. And I was in there at like 8.55 and they closed at 9 p.m. Wow, that was fast. That went right off the table. Sweet. Unfortunately, we're not going to see this again for another year. Anyways, was they were like, we're closing in five minutes. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll be quick. But sometimes when you're thrift bag hunting, like the first bag that you pick up has the best car. If something catches your eye or whatever. But uh, anyways, I'm running out of film here. I've got about 15 seconds to close off. So we'll mark off uh, December uh, 2018. Anyways, guys, thanks again for tuning in to the Toy Table. This will be Thrift Bag Finds 2019 number one.